All right, so you're dating a Taurus male or you're interested in a Taurus male, this video is for you. Taurus males can make incredible partners. They're not for everyone. It's gotta be the right fit, but there's a lot to like about Taurus males. Taurus is ruled by Venus, and while Taurus is an earth sign, you have that Venusian influence. Taurus men have a good sense of aesthetics. They're naturally inclined to think about what they find beautiful, what they find nice and, and harmonious, and, and they're not wired to be hardcore disciplinarians, looking at life as just a slog and you do what you're supposed to and you follow the rules. Men are consistent, they are deliberate, they're intentional, but they wanna enjoy life's pleasures. They tend to be, they can be Renaissance men. You know, they will usually have some kind of talent or interest or just proclivity for art or dining. Think about things that appeal to the senses, right? Torians gravitate toward those kind of things. So, you know, in a romantic context, they can be really fun people to date or be in a relationship with. And I think one thing to keep in mind right off the bat is that if a Taurus man is interested, he's going to be very hyper-focused on it. He's not necessarily going to hide the ball. He's gonna wanna spend time with you. He's gonna want to touch you and he wants to hold your hand and he, he wants to be around you. And he's going to appreciate someone that takes pride, I think, in their appearance. We'll talk a little bit about the importance of their values in a second, but they are attracted to traditional beauty standards, they're attracted to things like perfume and makeup, and they have an idea of what they like and what they find beautiful, and they're going to pursue that. They are somewhat materialistic, and that's not always about money, although it can be. Taurus naturally sits on the second house of the zodiac, and the second house is all about what we value mundane astrology would say, okay, that's money, that's currency, that's wealth. And there's a lot of focus for Taurus men on that, but it's not just that. It could be what you value more broadly. Whatever Taurus men or your Taurus man does value, it's gonna be really important to him. There's gonna be a strong preoccupation around that. And he's going to select his partners around those values and direct his relationships around those values. Really early on, if you're talking to a, a Virgo, excuse me, if you're talking to a, a Taurus man, figure out what he values. And if there's a match there, talk about what you value, talk about those things, find a way to connect on that level. I think that's really important. Of course, some Taurus men are just going to be more on the materialistic side, more directed towards a life of wanting nice things and purchasing things. And you see that Venusian influence. A Taurus man will sometimes show his love for you by buying you things or he'll shower you with these demonstrations of material, I don't know, material value, take you out to nice dinners, and if you're dating a, a Taurus male that's kind of like that, he's gonna expect someone that values the same kinds of things, that wants to live that life with him, that wants to speak that language. Taurus men can be a little bit over-focused over on appearances. He might have a social media presence or he might care about how not only he looks, but how you look, how you and him look together um, as part of a relationship. And I think a Taurus man can love or, or like or really be attracted to someone, you know, to the nth degree, but if he thinks that you're not gonna square with his friends or you're not gonna square with kind of his approach or his family or just kind of his identity, it's not, it's gonna be tough because he's not going to change that for you. He wants someone that's gonna fit into what he already thinks and feels and does. They tend to be traditionally masculine type people. They do appreciate nice things and fine things. There is also like a simplicity. They appreciate 
little things like tradition and family and their childhood meal and they know how to soak up the small simple moments of life so while they enjoy nice things like they're not always like living in the in the clouds at least they're able to let themselves enjoy it right they're usually pretty literal sometimes they're too literal they don't move in quick strokes like things are kind of broad and deliberate so if there's trouble brewing in the relationship it's not something he's necessarily going to react to immediately or make rash decisions they're usually patient consistent you know if anything sometimes taurus men will devote too much time or they'll be too focused on making something work that maybe is not totally meant to, to work and with this simplicity that earth sign nature of being salt of the earth and enjoying the simple things you have sensitivity you have that ability for this male to be comfortable in their masculinity to talk about art and things they find beautiful and music and when things are going great in the relationship and everything is all awesome like that's all good i think that the downside is that when there is disagreement or when you feel like there's a point in the relationship uh, that's maybe calling for some more drastic change or a, or, per, or a perspective shift or there's a really big conflict between you two. It's going to be very hard for Taurus male to change his opinion if he's not completely sold on it. What is in more enjoyable times and more fun times in the relationship, something that might be like endearing when things are bad, there's this total inflexibility. It's like if a Taurus man can't see it, that's kind of the end of it. There's this rigidity to cast aside what they don't understand or they don't resonate with. When you think about Venus, Venus is all about being attracted to things we find harmonious, creating harmony, creating connection, finding things that move us on the inside. But the reverse of that is like saying no to the things that we don't like. And when with Taurus males, you also see the, the hard edges of, of that other side of, of flat out saying no or just completely rejecting things that just don't mesh with their values. And when there are situations or there's people, there's life circumstances that challenge them or challenge their values, it just takes much, much, much longer for a Taurus male to respond or reflect as a result of that, if they do at all. They might never change. And so if you're with a Taurus male and there's a deep-seated conflict and you're hanging around expecting that they're finally going to see the light, you might be waiting a long time before you ultimately realize, wow, they're never really going to see it. They're never really going to change. I think the hardest thing is that when Taurus men are really excited about something, they want to talk about it. They want to share it. They're excited about a new job or a new project, or they're excited about this trip they're taking or some new thing that they're into. Like they're all about it and being around them when they're in that state is just so awesome, especially if you're vibing with it. But when you're really excited about something and you kind of want to get the, the Taurus man on board, you want to get his like awesome energy. If he's not into it, like he's not going to be able to jump on the boat with you, which sometimes is so frustrating. Things are always fun and awesome and great when it's like what you want to do, but can't you ever feel that vicariously or at least like try to when it's something that maybe I want, right, that that you didn't necessarily choose. Sometimes that can be really hard. Values, again, are very important. Torian men, they don't really want to rock the boat. Taurus men, they find community around the things that they value, and they, they can sometimes find themselves in, in bubbles or in echo chambers. And they can be a little bit intellectually lazy sometimes. It's, it's gonna be really difficult if you are with a, a Taurus man who's like extremely close to a certain group of friends or his family or whatever, and you like don't get along with them or you really dislike the in-laws. It's hard for Taurus men to ever supplant the loyalty to the family or the mom, the mother especially. There's a lot of mother complexes with these people. It's hardest for him sometimes to put the relationship 
before all those other things, especially when it's really unpopular to those other people, even if it's the right thing for the relationship. And so you have to be okay with the fact that life is this big kind of ship. It's this big freight ship and it it's powerful and it's, it's constant and steady and it's loving, but it, it takes a lot for it to turn. And there's a lot of inertia connected to the way that it's going. And that's something to be aware of. It's not Taurus man's nature to fly in and out of relationships or necessarily to, you know, have a lot of flings or, or be unfaithful. It all depends really on the individual. I think what you'll see more of is not necessarily disloyalty or infidelity. It's not that, you know, Taurus men are relationship focused or unrelationship focused. It's more like the Taurus man, if he's really into the, to the relationship, he will rush into it really fast and make it his whole thing. And that's what he's all about. On the other hand, Taurus man is like not able to commit and he's just not envisioning or valuing a marriage or a committed partnership at that time. You can't twist his arm about it. You gotta wait for that ship to turn around. So be aware of those things. Taurus men are very, very focused on what it is they value in, in the world and the life for themselves that they view. And you should know what that is and know if you think you want to be a part of that because there's not a ton of that's like open for compromise, honestly. There's just not. Figure out what this particular Taurus man values and, and you'll really understand him a lot better someone that has some dynamism and some erraticism and someone that actually is a little bit of a spark plug and is messy around the edges. Actually, Taurus is, is always unconsciously going to be a little bit attracted to that. Whether that's going to work out long term depends on the individuals, depends on a lot of other stuff going on in the chart, but that can get a Taurus man really excited. You just have to know that it might be hard for him to always totally meet you there. He might also patronize it or think that eventually you're gonna come around to his way of life or his philosophy or his way of doing things. Taurus is the opposite sign of Scorpio or Scorpio is always going through these kind of chaotic cycles of death and rock bottom and rebirth and, and reinvention. Taurus, you don't see the huge highs and you don't see the huge lows and you, you don't see these extremely kind of bipolar expressions of emotion or energy in any one direction. It's more of a self-preserving type of energy and it feels really good for some people and for other people it may not square with the life of growth that they want to chart. Taurus man isn't going to necessarily want to pick up and move away from being an hour away from his family to go to California or be digital nomads. Taurus men get very tethered to the things that they know and value it. Taurus is much quicker probably to toss aside the newer relationship than threaten all the other parts of his life and all the other things that make up his identity. While he will appreciate someone that does provide a little bit of a counterbalance to that approach to life. You can't be someone that um, he sees as a, as a liability. If you demonstrate behavior that seems unloyal or you are playing games or he doesn't totally know if he can trust you or if you're like stable um, in the same way that he is stable either like as a human or just stable in the relationship, that's gonna create a lot of tension for a Taurus man. Anything that makes him feel this insecurity or material insecurity, that's going to get the Taurus man upset and angry and, and that will cause him to take action in the relationship where normally he's slower to respond, he's patient, he's kind of wait and see. You start to do things that break trust or if you've already broken trust, that can be really irreversible type damage. Taurus will respond in a similar way to Scorpio where they will never forget. They may not even ever be able to ever forgive. And that's also why when a relationship does break down or there's a breakup like Scorpio, once Taurus is done, they're, they're really done. It's over. There's no going back. Literally, there's no going back. 
they do work and they hammer away and they're patient and they try to make things work for a long time. More so than Scorpio, where Scorpio is like more quick to be like, F this, I'm out. Taurus will try to stay in there, but once they're done, they are really done. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.